Su. Yeah, okay. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> like, why is there an I in there, but it's not just Su? I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm no linguist. Magisk. He's got a way with words. And he's gotten away from that smoke for the time being. Spink's gonna move it around Ticket. For all they know, they got players are out to pummel that A site. And honestly, that's exactly what's about to happen. Five man pop from Navi into A. Magisk has to give it all up. Zoned very much by that utility. We got the old 5v5 post plant in a pistol. A classic. Magisk, first man dead. Little gap here for Apex to try and shave one off the jungle, but honestly, Navi don't have to fight this. Yeah, this is really hard to get back window control now, so what can they do? I mean, they can try to go up and... T I don't even know, man. Dupree's so low. They normally try to jump into the window where SDY is aiming from Cat, but they're, they're literally saving. They lost one player in this pistol round, and they're saving because genuinely, like, how do you even pull off this retake? Just a flash and a nade on Apex, and... Yeah, they don't even have a kit, so... <laughs> Actually, no chance. Not every day you see one person dying and then a pistol save. Um, on Mirage, it's not a great, not a great map for Vitality. They're coming off of two losses. Uh, they have a forty percent pistol round win percentage. They are below fifty on CT side and T side. What's weird is they they took a big win over Ents at Cologne, but Ents were starting to get worse at Cologne. Like that was like a not great tournament for them. So there's a sixteen seven win for them there. So we know they can win a Mirage every once in a while, and they have played it. Uh, six times since Dallas, but but yeah, this is incredibly favored towards Navi and their map pick as well, of course. Look at he split into the split. B side. Deagle. <laughs> oh no, that's confidence brimming over top, and with that one kill, look at him run. Look at him run. Like mice, they scatter Vitality all the way back to the other side of the map. A single kill as fast as humanly possible on that B bomb site, And we've got Navi to the 2-0 start. Yeah, who actually rushes B on pistol rounds? It just doesn't happen these days. No, it doesn't. We gotta bring that back. Normally it's slow cat splits, mid control, see where the stack is. No. The they trim, they cut the fat off. See, that's why Simple didn't buy a gun, because he just found a free MP9. There you go. Now, next round, we got four SMGs across the board here. Oh, man, they're going to keep it? Maybe. What if... Well, this is three and repeat. What if they just did that again? <laughs> there will be some, free, like, you know, $300 upgrades into the head armor for Vitality, so they'll be a lot better versus the SMGs. But they could just rush B again. Do it again. They could. That'd be very funny and interesting. You know, I'm no genius. Okay. But I think they should do it twice. Just imagine. Luckily, of course, Team Vitality kept a bunch of bells and whistles from that last one. So let's see if the three FAMI can hang on. Versus an Armada. Well, good thing they didn't rush B. <laughs> it was indeed. It was indeed stacked. We were on the vitality wavelength with that one. <laughs> no rush. Just a nice spread across the board here from Navi. Electronic sees nothing towards middle, so he's going to double back. Bit sensing an opening on this A site. And boy, is he ever right. The only thing here are the dual Berettas of Magis. Gets the dink on Pit, but pistols not quite enough. And now if Navi wanted to, they could just stampede in before the cavalry arrives. Apex and his horsemen galloping over, trying to stop this from happening. Navi follow through with the proper motions, utility all around this. They can plant comfortably on this side of triple. Apex, does he run through smoke? No. And the stack of Fomuses on the side of Ticket also sees nothing for the time being. Nice kill from Simple, predicting that spot and following up. Galil, good for the two kills. Bit of damage here versus Bitten Perfecto, but it shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't go any further than that. Oh, they wish they had a kit now. Apex coming in with no armor, picks up this Fomus, and they're creeping up towards the site, but I mean, I think it's too far gone anyway, so they'll have to walk away. But some good kills here from Spinks, of course, starting off 3-0. And this is, even though I 
praise Spinks for how fast he is at to Inferno and some of the good maps we've seen already. That wasn't so good this this last time around. Mirage is a home map for Spinks. I mean, this is a map that he is insanely good on. I think he also got a spot. I can't remember. We already watched them play uh, Mirage once, but he's playing on Cat. Yes. And that means he got the space he wanted to. Or it's Dupree. No, no, no. Sorry. He's playing Con, and he switched. He switched to uh, Top Con. Dupree stays on Cat, keeps his space. But both are very high frag positions that should kind of exemplify how good an individual is, so it would be interesting to watch him play there. Capable mid players when it comes to Mirage. But here it is, the coveted rush, right back at it. Good grenade damage, bit lucky to be alive. A single point of health taken down by Apex, but at least that one point of health is used to kind of just get Apex off the angle. You know, you got to deal with the guy with one HP, can't then establish the multi-kill, but Dupree with a frag to his name, kind of got lost there. Thinking maybe he was getting hit from Cat. Instead, two versus four, turn two v three. And Simple gets that bomb down. So Spinks into the flank. Zaiwu's got the kit and all of Vitality with grenades to try and piece this together. Some die young on the bench. Ooh, they smoked Simple. It kind of makes for an interesting situation. Molly lands on SDY. But he seems to have found a little pocket back there, so they're going to continue to try and just bombard him with grenades. Here comes SDY from the side of bench. Time is of the essence. No second kill for some die young. Zaiwu did have a kit, so they should have the defuse. Yeah, plenty of time. Okay, well done there on the on the retake. Good. I mean, that's all about SDY. First of all, very tricky drop. There's a smoke and the on the molly at the end of the halls. And SDY gets off of the balcony without showing himself to whoever was in the site. And then he trades out Dupree after slinking in to this bench. And of course gets the third and final kill for Navi in this situation. But overall, he, he kind of did as much as he could. And it went a little under talked about, I'll, I'll admit. But over on Inferno, he also did a good job of kind of getting at least one of two of entries. Almost every single time they were trying to hit the B site. First one from Zaiwu connects. Good trade there from Pit. Ooh. And a pretty big kill from Sumdai Young as well. 4v3. And Apex not able to reclaim this territory. Not at least with the kill, but he's still positioned here. Uh oh, Bit's coming. Yeah. yeah. Bit with that off. Grabbed it off Simple's dead body. Yeah, that was weird because he kind of like overstayed, but at the same time, they're down the player, so he has to take some kind of risk. But of course, that's a really easy clear here for Bit. You know, but with uh, with Spinks still alive, I think there's always a chance on Mirage. Ooh, this is an interesting late round position. I'm calling it late round just because there's down so many numbers. Of course, there's still a full minute. But Spinks left side window, he could find a timing. Yeah, he does grab it. Oh, and then the dink to Perfecto. Magisk, wow. despite the damage there on Perfecto and Magisk's attempt to take down Electronic, it's mm. just three alive for Navi. Yeah. Now, is that a round one in the apartments? Yes, it is. And with this trade from Bit, of course, and, and here, this push being held on to from SDY, I think what we saw that was the best part for Navi was not getting tunnel visioned on one initial trade, right? Even though there's some action that goes down at the bottom of the underpass, SDY is still on duty, understands his job of making sure a second push doesn't come through. And there is... Oh! Dead before he hits the ground. Spinks is out of the rounds. And Magis can't even fall back from the triple box. Yo, Navi are kind of horrifying right now, dude. This is yeah. ferocious. No, I mean, what's crazy about this is last week they played with Hedrick, right? And they still managed to do pretty damn well. But then we also have Simple, who had to take a little break, and he came back. And they still have one uh, Inferno, and already looked pretty impressive. But the craziest part of all is if Navi win this game, then Pimp goes 0-3 in predictions today. Oh, does he? Yeah. Oh, no. And that's the thing I think we need to focus on the most. Uh, do you remember after the first day of this event when Pimp was in first place and all he could talk about was predictions? I don't, because we it was are? so far, oh, so long ago. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And by the end of the second day, I think he was already... Yeah, he had already... <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't throw french fry. <laughs> you can't throw fry at me. <laughs> I forgot the green room was that close. Talk about him and he'll show up. Yeah, careful. Still toxic. Yep. <laughs> yep. Toxic as ever. I'm, <laughs> I'm tweeting this French fry for evidence. <laughs> He's lucky it's soggy. I would have seen him in court. You know what? That's how you know that hit the mark. It it was a headshot actually. It was a headshot. Yeah, Pimp still got it. 
a grease on my forehead. But I'm not as greasy as Navi, man. This is a well-oiled machine so far on this T-side. 5-1. Quickly killing all these pistols. Wait, they have us on camera at all times, so there's video evidence oh, of that French fry. Oh my ride. god, that's right. Oh. Hmm. We saw it take place. Pimp cancelled. But let's focus on the good Counter Strike player. Look at this shot, dude. Oh, wow. man. <laughs> it looked like he's off the screen. Because he's even looking down. Yeah. Trying yeah. to tuck his head. That was just too fast. Of course, that's a spot. If they start a window, they could have, you know, seen electronic in that spot, but just a great shot. He's opping? I mean. It gets away. That's probably what Spinks was looking to get up to last round, early fight. Possibilities there if you don't lose your head in the first 10 seconds. And they get away as well. Bit's looking to come trade this, but he's gone like a ghost. Dupree instead takes the helm, front facing top mid. It's simple and electronic with three CTs. Just over at that ledge. No! <laughs> of course he does. What? <laughs> Dupree goes for the peak, gets snapped down on. Suddenly, Spink's probably feeling a little more lonely, but a second one's not coming out of simple. Oh! Three! He turns that upside down. And just like that, Vitality looking at their second round win, two kills away from it. Spinks saves the day. Damn. Uh, that is, that's what Spinks is all about, man. Those rifle multi-frags, that is so ridiculous. A couple times in this event, he's had those like little 90 degree snapshots. You know, sometimes when that crosshair has to travel X distance, players kind of just lose their, their sharpness. But well, yeah, it's for the simple fact that like, you've only got so much mouse pad and your aim's best in the center. So as soon as somebody does that turnaround flick, you know, that just speaks to their mechanical abilities where they can aim in a position where their hand's not exactly comfortable. And um, Sphinx does that really consistently. Wow. Well done. Just made this one doable. Now, of oh. course, it comes at another cost. Apex. At least they don't have the time to rush that B site. But three survive for Vitality. And, I mean, that is all Sphinx all day. Seriously. And after that beautiful shot from Symbol to open up, it's just, it's pretty much a lost position, right? Because... They have two CTs in mid as the T's are about to start scaling. So Dupree dying means this should be a death sentence for Spinks, and he just doesn't need any help. Normally, you'd have the crossfire so two people can watch the top of mid and the underpass push. It's just Spinks. Crazy. But just a second round, so... At least both teams full strength now. Palace pop. We got two players close, I believe, here from Vitality. Of course, Magisk and Dupree. Saibu back on triple. And the utility, of course, is here for Navi. But for now, they just wait, hoping somebody gives him that jungle peek. And honestly, with the window smoked, Sphinx could offer it up. He's backing up now. Oh, man. Yeah, it's free. Sitting duck. Map is just so quiet. I just don't really like that very much for Vitality. But in, you know, even though Sphinx dies here, so this might lead them towards the site where there's still three players alive. And the op is still up on triple. This setup isn't perfect, but Saibu can make the difference and he gets some damage. Could help. Gets the kill to Electronic. Ramp point comes out. Magisk holds on to that part. Ooh, perfecto catching Magisk on that jump up. Flash underneath, no clear entry just yet. In fact, it's health advantage, oh, but that is shot. so nice. Perfecto straight to the forehead. Oh, oh. through the floor. Dupree just gets owned an Apex sent on his own. Back to that B bomb site. Vitality. There are can't hang on. There are so many players on this team. You know what I mean? Like anyone can take it over. Perfecto right there. They had the remember when we were, you know, back in the online period and they had the backdrops for Navi, and they had customs with all their patterns. Yeah. And Perfecto had the drill. The drill. The yeah. perforator. The perforator. Is what they call them. Yeah. 
that's pretty much what that was. Shooting through the floorboards. In that case, Dupree couldn't run and couldn't hide. That's disgusting. But I didn't really like how, I don't know, I mean, the double, I didn't really like the setup. Oh, I can't exactly put my finger on it, but just that the double nice. under Balk setup. I feel like it's great when you have a read if there's going to be a full exec and then you're baiting with one player. But in this position, you know, Dupree is kind of useless the whole time. He's delaying, but once he has to smoke the molly, he can't move. They also lose Magisk, who just walks out towards Tetris, and they try to clear the A ramp. It doesn't really feel like there's a lot of cohesion. They're not making the most of having three players alive on the site. At least that's just kind of my visceral feeling, looking at how that panned out. Of course, we see the version where Perfecto kills all three and hits nice shots in the process, but... There's a slight chance in this one from Vitality. Magisk opens up early. Irretrievable gun, of course. Now Magisk loses his line of sight on middle. So it's going to take a deagle from someone. Place your bets. Sphinx, Zaiwu, or Apex. Another window smoke goes down, I believe. So Magisk still playing the waiting game. Oh, they let him get to cat corner now with the op posted as well. It's going to be a real test on this B site. Simple just hunting for that M4. It is right in the window still. Apex gives himself a little pocket. Dupree's gone unchecked. These pistol players both have their little cubbies. And look at that. A kill apiece. 35 seconds. Simple and Perfecto in a two versus four. Zaiwu gets out from the window. Simple's blind as hell. Perfecto recovers with the first one close. Dupree goes for the peek into the dink. Still oh. dies. Nice headshot. And there's Apex to claw this one back. It's Simple 1v2. He's got Apex ahead. A deagle in hand and a bomb up top. It's Vitality with the robbery. Well, they pull that setup off. First kill comes down because of Magisk on Cat. And then they have a cool setup where if there's no B apps presence, there's a guy who's up on the balcony. He's covering for vent and they have one smoke for the van pillar. And that's enough to make it really hard for Navi to dismantle this. And that's actually a beautiful shot from Apex. He could have easily lost a teammate, still got that kill. And it, you know, they probably would have lost actually if he didn't hit it that quickly. So good cover from the captain of Vitality. And they've done some not irreparable damage, but pretty significant damage here to Navi's economy. Ooh, Sphinx, wow. big chance. Oh, doesn't catch that second one close. Oh, the flash is so good. Bit was blind for an extra second or two, but he had this poopy smoking connector to work off of. But it's kind of by design that the CTs want this so that they can peek the other side. Fall back in the 4v4. Palace walked out. Worked very well for Navi last time around. Thanks to this man on your screen. Now, it's not as frequent as some of the other members of Navi, but I do love a good Perfecto performance. If you don't, you're kind of an asshole. I think. <laughs> <laughs> well. Yeah, they're out there. Bit gets out ramp first. Thinking about maybe an under palace setup. No one there. Dupree doesn't come up with a kill. Magus dies as well, so it's got to be Zywu through and through. Zywu's missed, and now he, he can't really fight safely, so his teammates die. He gets a kill later on, but it's... Drop bomb. Drop bomb. Oh, true. Oh, but he's so blind. That flashbang from Ooh. Bit is just the saving grace of that one. Keeps three up for Navi, and... Yeah, they can laugh off what could have been a sketchy situation. Yeah, and we should actually talk about, I mean, Zaiwu has missed a, a few shots here and there where it's, it, it is round defining. I mean, he is so good to the point that he should be hitting some of these. And when he got some damage in connector, but didn't get that kill, that helped their, his opponent's skill. Here he misses an opening duel, which allows them to flood out of the palace. And even though he gets the kill after, it's just a little too late. So not perfect form here from Zaiwu. But he still has the op. Reinvested in this one. So better late than never, but we are already two thirds of the way through this first half and not be comfortable four round lead. 
considering that one of those three rounds from Vitality is when they had that one M4 on Magisk, mm -hmm. you know, it's not putting much stock in the uh, rifle versus rifle. But the call is correct. Vitality, they've stacked the right site. Zywoo to do his own thing at B. So worst case, nothing goes well on the A site. Zywoo can try to transition that off into round number 12. Best case, they set him up in a you know, clutchable situation. <laughs> Flying through the sky is electronic. Did he just W straight into that? Yes, sir. Zaps him down in Sandwich, and it's flawless. Even Zywoo dies. He didn't even stick around on that B site. So it wasn't about the save. It was about the attempt, and the attempt nets them nothing. People don't really know, but it's, they, Electronic's a movement player from 1.6. He's been going crazy ever since. And it's just small things in CSGO that get to show you it, but... He is fully airborne this. here, right? Yeah, but he's holding W for this turn. I think he might... Five round lead for Navi. But the guns are back in the hands of Vitality. Oof, bleak CT side, I must say. Yep, it's a map they tried to adopt as soon as they got on the Astralis players, even though that was a map that Astralis didn't play because it was already good for Vitality. But they never really hit their stride on Mirage, unfortunately. Just never ended up working out. With Sphinx, I mean, they, they should have a huge Mirage upgrade, and we've already seen him help out a ton. But there still might be some new growing pains just with the roster moves, so... Yeah, I remember when they first adopted it, dude. Zywu looked like just like a lost sheep. Mm. The amount of times he'd just be blindsided. Mid setups were always weird. We've seen improvements since then, but still not enough to compete. Could always chalk up some of that uh, language issues. Here we go. Mists flash. Won't cost them anything. Some die young tries to track the apex. Ooh. Maybe it will cost them. Apex goes down to bit and a miss shot from Simple. <laughs> Electronic will trade out Dupree, but Dupree still offered two kills. Spink slides out from market. They drop the bomb. That one could come back to haunt them. Yeah, and they've got a tempo here with the flank. What? But Electronic. Oh, he didn't see him. Oh, what the? Are your eyes open? The thing is, his teammate might die, and Spink's just on the site. Electronic comes back. Spink's is probably wondering, how did that happen? Fully exposed to the electronic wraparound, but there's no second kill there for electronic. So Sphinx gets his name into the kill feed, and Vitality will be back into the scoreboard. Yeah, so very sneaky there from Sphinx. Sneaks out, plays off the corner of the smoke. Doesn't know electronic walks by, but is perfectly covered and saves this round for sure. I think you would be quite kind of nervous after, you know, picking up Sphinx. I'm like, oh, how much is this? Just how comfortable he was in Snappy, plus all the space and, you know, everything just working really well. But he has really proven that he's the truth. Not that you can't give credit to that development on Ents, though. That's for sure. A lot of it comes down to how good that team was. SDY dies holding the ramp. And, um... You know, Perfecto, if he wants to do a lap, could actually just go back and get this... get this gun from SDY. Uh, he's not feeling the cardio. Ooh. Oh, where, where the... Catwalk. Must have been on the bricks. Oi. Just the deagle for Perfecto. Man, Still he's been connects. a menace in the halls. Yeah, it's like the one spot. Where's that molly at? In front of Magisk. Electronic will get the job done, but costs him a bunch of HP. Zywoo's still back towards the ticket. Will be pressured by Utility. We got a man in the open. Apex catching Perfecto on the fall down. And so with 40 seconds, it falls on to Simple and Electronic. He jumps over to the oh. stairs. Didn't get spotted. Tries to run for default. Good call. Little pocket of safety here. It's going to be the wraparound from Dupree all the way through T-Spawn. Is there a molly for him? No. It's going to be hard to actually dislodge him from default. And simple as the op up. 
That's going to keep him distracted. Goes back, misses the shot. Dupree goes through Palace, of course. So this actually gives good time to Simple. But he's going to be on full display for the Dupree peak right now. And with that, it's just 12 health between Vitality and a fifth. Mm. The CT side starting to collect some rounds finally. Yeah, well handled. Uh, Dupree went for the long con, and it looked like, oh, maybe he should have gone for the A ramp play, but he's just in time. Oh, it's Dupree up top on the bricks. I was like, how could he see him down there? That one caught a perfecto off guard. A few nice kills here from Apex. Yeah, decided to take things into his own hands. Caught him on the bench. Zonic said, let's fly away with this one. Economy stalls out here for Navi towards the end of the half. So uh, a very real chance at Vitality to maybe double that round count that once was. And Perfecto dead in an instant. But he is still the top fragger for Navi. And they still have an excellent T side going. With a gun round to follow suit. Oof. Bit tries to get a piece of Apex. Instead, it's a 5v3. It's feeling a bit more calm here, I think, for Vitality. They know it's an Antico. They got the first two kills. Deagle's walking out. Electronic doesn't get his. Been a pretty fun game so far. Still, Navi, still looking good. Of course, right, they never left. But um, yeah, this would be a huge win for Vitality. Again, coming off of two losses. Funnily enough, they beat Ents, who had Spinks on the lineup the last time. And then they stole him. And they actually have a, a loss to Navi, eight to sixteen at the Blast Fall Finals. Over in Lisbon a couple of months ago. Has it been that long already? Since spring finals? Yeah. Yeah, man. Wow. We had the whole player break. All sorts of shenanigans. Oof. Perfecto. He opens up. Magisk was getting a little adventurous. Not the best half for Magisk, in fact. 4 and 11. And that'll be his final score. Spix. Ooh. Setting up Zywoo for a second kill off the op from Cat. So a 3v3 to close out the half. This one could end close as can be. The Perforator in Palace. Taps Apex so slightly. He's going to serve up a distraction. We'll see if that puts Zaiwu into a compromised spot for maybe Bit to pick up the kill. Top con. Ooh, the grate is not broken inside of Ladder Room. It does limit the... Amount of places that Zywoo can go in this situation. The bomb will rocket back. And Zywoo's kind of tied up here a little bit. I mean, he can't be sure that they're not going to come off of Cat or put pressure on him. So it might be Dupree alone for the meantime. And because of this lack of information in the ladder room, Apex had to compensate by rotating himself out of A to make sure they aren't going B apps. Dupree up to the plate. 25 seconds. Zywoo could maybe catch an angle, but feels like it's going to have to be Dupree. Utility's been heard. He's buying his time and waiting. And now they commit. Element of surprise catching one off. Can't find the bomb plant. They got him off it, though. Ooh, Zywoo putting that bomb down to the dirt. And Perfecto, just no time. He's going to have to stick the plant. He fakes it instead. Gets the first headshot. And Zywoo just cannot be found. So, a decent recovery from Vi They gave us something to watch. But now they got to follow through on the offense. It's utility for Apex. And a CT side that could just completely cancel out Vitality. So Top Con gets smoked right off, and they see someone coming in from underpass. Electronic will take that and leave. Bit gonna keep it quiet with Dupree down beneath him. Two players crawling forward. He's got Spinks point blank. 
Wow. Poor Spinks just slides right into the crosshair. There's anyone fast enough. And now Electronic could go for the peak because Zaiwu's kind of locked in this duel. And even though Zaiwu dies, at least he brings Bit with him. Singular man advantage here. As Dupree and Magisk lean into the A site, Apex is going to have to find a route through with Bomb. Oh, that's what you need from Magisk. The old P250 tap. But Electronic, of course, to take it right back. This has been a very clean pistol round. Yeah, from both sides. The number's getting thinned. Oh, my. okay. People are just not using ammo here. Uh, please miss for the sake of making the rest of us feel human because that is just way too easy. How much ammo did get used there? I, mean, I feel like I feel like seven people died. Like one bullet, right? In a total of like 15 bullets max. Yeah. I don't think anyone reloaded this round. Or maybe Bit just did there as he jumps away. Oh. Okay. Well, we didn't see that one. We didn't see that one. Prius knew how to spectate this one. Yeah, he made him look real good. Yeah. All right. That's what it is. Counter-Strike is hard, folks. For some Better more to than watch others. than play. Yes. Mm. Well, that's Navi. Both pistols so far on Mirage. It's a matter of converting, and if I was a gambling man, oh. I'm not putting it on five blocks. Yeah. That pistol is kind of catch-all for Vitality. Topcon being smoked is great. It's an important vision line for the CT side, and just, like, you have a lot of options when you smoke Topcon on the T side if you take mid. So the way that they set up, I wasn't sure if they were going to plan to do something or if they were just going to follow kills or try to get as much space as Navi wanted to give them. But... Um, yeah, there's nothing bad about it, but they do struggle on pistols. That's not the first time they've lost one. We wait out the smoke at the minute mark. It's going to be a meat grinder, hate to say it. Perfecto ready to just pad those stats and pull further ahead of the rest of his team. Down goes Apex. Simple. Holds him back. And middle belongs to Navi. Looks like maybe Electronic would be swept away by the sea of Glocks, but uh, he survives the test. Eight rounds is the quota. To beat their record against Navi the last time they played against him on Mirage. But it's more than that here. I mean, they want they need the map just to get to map three. This one's for a fall final spot. Mm -hmm. And I mean, as much as we had Vitality, they beat G2 last time to get this opportunity. Who knows what's going to happen in the in the rematch? Yeah, they also got blow out, blown out on one of those three on maps. Duke, yeah. So, kind of reminded us that if if Nico's doing Nico things, Vitality are not impervious. Also, nice to see that Navi considered you know to be right up there with Phase as one and two, still keeping some distance between them and the rest of the pack. Got guns up here from Vitality, and they've got mid completely, completely theirs. Yeah, it's definitely a good starting position. They got tons of control. See, this A side setup is really nice if you don't have to worry about Palace. So they have someone inside of A ramp. Everyone's kind of taking care of themselves. And they are shifting in the right direction as well as the third player now works his way over to B. It's the captain of Navi as they spot Sphinx at the top of halls. And this might serve as a distraction for the MP9 up close. We'll see. Nope, Sphinx comes for the clear, but he doesn't get the kill. Ooh, bit wounded now. Nearing that halfway point, Dupree able to catch him close. Electronics position known, and he'll die to the wall bank. But Perfecto still up, and Simple slides out. Two headshots from Simple. Just sucks the life right out of that one. And Zaiwu, ooh, he's got it back. He's into the clutch. It's him versus some die young. MP9 at that range? I don't think so. So he goes for the plant. And some die young uses that as an invitation to close the distance. He walks into the open, and by closing that gap, he closes the round. Wow. Navi win another. Yeah, we weren't seeing that much for Zaiwu until the end of the first half, where he put together a nice clip on the A site with that op, and now he almost turned it into a 1v3 when they really needed it the most. But shut down with the MP9. The simple walk up here. Nice kills. Yeah, it looked like this round was over before those first two came down. Just simple and Zaiwu putting up critical 2Ks. Kind of see the, the round go back and forth with each of those ones. But Sumdai Young makes the difference. 
as he has been. Uh, first half was very solid from him. Limited utility here for Vitality. A couple of smokes. Oh, but they get the fast oh. opener. Electronic gets sliced as he tries to jump out mid. Yeah. They saw him just trying to sneak into underpass. They can take it a little faster. I don't know if he got his smoke out. It looks like not. Let me see how tricky this is. It can get you killed being in this position, but it can also be a good way to get a timing. And there's Sphinx dead with some additional damage, maybe. Ooh, can he get out? It looks like he might be safe. He's fine. That is a huge play from Bit. Well, not fine. 58 health, but still alive and kicking. Smoke top connector with Bit having lost his position. Now there's a huge question mark over top of middle. I feel like uh, Navi have been taking advantage of this no palace presence. Maybe knowing that Vitality you don't want to go here. What a shot. Oh my god. Hello Dupree and goodbye Bit. Dupree's going to get that 2k into the B site. And uh, despite Navi's best efforts at the start of this round, it's going to slide the way of Vitality. The T side has begun. That was disgusting, man. Long range AK, one bullet into Perfecto. And with the game Perfecto's had, probably the best player in Navi so far, you think, all right, he's going to hold on to the site, but... You shoot him. When you see him, you shoot him. That was what he did. <laughs> did he ever? Dupree, very clean. I forgot that he had actually gotten electronic in that fashion to start the round. So that is that is very much the Dane with impact. Single-handedly wins it, considering the other two players from Navi just transition into the save. It's a round that you can kind of walk off. There's still a lead, and uh, there's still money as well. But it does. it is one that inspires confidence if you're on Vitality. Like, okay. Very clean one. I like how much action is taking place inside of middle in their TD faults. But uh, again, again, I do feel like that uh, Navi are abusing the fact that they're leaving Palace open or don't want to often walk out of Palace, maybe. Simple starts is off by killing the star player last round. Dupree dead at the top of middle. And it's actually scarier for Apex to come out in this position, but CT start to move back. This is such a tempo that Simple is still here Ooh. on Cat waiting. He retreats. Oh, the boost could catch him. Spinks worried that somebody's close. Is but... the grape open inside a window? It's going to walk right in. Simple takes down Apex, who had just finished boosting Spinks. Nice shot. But at least Spinks's play comes through with some success for Vitality. He blocks off Murder Hole, starts to move towards A. Oh, right into Some Die Young. They don't know where Electronic's gotten off to. They're going to hear that rotate coming from Market towards this A site. So does Zywu want to play for the commitment? Oh, Electronic. He had turned back towards Palace, so that's an easy pickup. And now, remember, they heard that movement. So there is time for a rotate if they want, but they opt not to. Oh man, they're, they're taking a lot of time. The CTs are starting to get into interesting spots. They'll get spotted on default, and the trade comes. Now simple, one on three, sitting in CT spawn. Whoa, you know he's good for it. I just, oh, nice grenade, 50 damage on that. But wow. flash, not enough to keep Magisk alive. The trade is right there, though. Vitality, win another. Damn. That's, I can't believe Spinks wins this round. You know, the fact that he gets the kill on the side of default after trading out, getting into window, making things interesting, just speaks to how sharp he is. And uh, this kill right there can be damning. This trade as well. I mean, it wasn't an easy shot. This one. Yeah, but this is just... Oof. He's just going postal. Of course, Electronic going to be beating himself up. That eyes weren't turned towards ramp. Yeah, that's a tough one because he can play more inside the ramp, but he's not if he's not literally on top of the pot... Then he also has to worry about someone coming over top of the stairs. So that was a symptom of the fact that his teammate died with, and they lost connector control. So he signed up for it. Now Navi should go down easy. Just the pistols unarmored. We could very well have a game on our hands. But simple, maybe 
doesn't want to die just yet. Kind of just sucked the life out of that B hit. Oh, look at this movement here from the CT side. They just leave B entirely. You want to be very, very frugal with your footsteps in a position like this, knowing the T's are just sitting in very close spots, listening to try to get clues. But it looks like they'll actually read this correctly after not seeing anything there inside the window. They're coming. Nobody's going to face early, so... Vitality getting uncomfortably close to these pistol players. Now a couple go down easy. Electronic in a prime position. Again, no armor, no guns, and no teammates. Understandable that he falls. Vitality convert the easy one for three in a row. Yeah, that's well handled. And just some patience. We see Spinks who do the same thing on Inferno, where he kind of gets to the end of halls, or he's lurking by himself and just waiting. And we'll slowly try to initiate on the exec with the pack coming in afterwards. Do they have the money to buy, actually? I saw someone with 4,300. I don't think they all... You know, a few less grenades on simple. No kit, though. No kit. No kit. Remember that. Bomb goes down. It's a full 10 second. Ooh, very fast pressure off of the pause. Vitality cranking the dial. And SDY, good for the first. Bit comes through. That's three kills to the favor of Navi. Apex and Magisk looking to recover. They wanted that fight fast. They got it, and it cost them. Simple's got the gap in the kill. Magus with the trade frag and the bomb on his back in a one versus four. Shots whizzing over top. Oh, and he gets sprayed down. Oh. Some die young, putting his name on this one. You know, they were on the brink of destroying the economy of Navi, uh, but suddenly that power changes hands. Ooh, caught in the open though. Magisk, a little bit of pressure out from Electronic early. Right through both those smokes, CTs try to fight. Yeah. He actually does that play a lot, and the Electronic will have a flash come over Khan. He can peek out, and it's because one of the best things that you can do on fast rounds, jumping through the cat smoke into the bottom of Khan, and oh my god, no way, SUI goes with a full jump up and kills Apex. That's already a really unfun fight for the T side, sitting up in the halls. And normally you don't have to jump up that high to get it, but he actually goes unfazed. 100 HP here still for SDY. Can't believe it. Not one bullet hits. Oh, <laughs> neat. <laughs> Phenomenal. Yeah. Is that one minute? Okay, now. Too pretty lucky to be alive. Maybe we just transition into that one minute save because Vitality. Yeah. Not quite sure where you get your opening nor any extra money. This is Navi to the 1310. Yeah, it's great to have mid, but unfortunately, no. They can give that up comfortably at this point. You're at risk of getting opt. So they're all up here in the halls. And this might be the end of round for Vitality, so they'll make it 13. And again, here's that play from Electronics. And yeah. Uh, you seeing this? It's going to happen. You seeing this? This was funny. And the nades? Ooh. Huge. That first one was a little closer inside connector. <laughs> womp, womp, womp. What's it like to live with that many emotions? More fun? Probably. Probably. He's in the he's he's in the present. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But how come when like monks are in the present, they just don't move and react to anything? Well, I think they focus on controlling emotion. Uh, okay. You know? So Apex is like the giving up 13 stings when you're down a map. And it might be even rougher. Yes, and they even they save these guns, but I don't Sphinx didn't have enough money to rebuy any utility as well. Bit gets away. He had to try and jump over those deagle shots originally. Honestly, gets away all right. 71 health. It's plenty to work with. Feels like the game plan is actually kind of fake pressure. Just don't die because they need to keep this utility for an exec potentially. And it looks like they just want to make sure that uh, no push comes down. So 
Oh, I don't know if they reattack mid with this window smoke. Or what the deal is. I mean, they, they have enough to do anything. They could smoke at the bottom of Cat as well if they want to take it or get into con, but I think a con split might be a little harder. 45 seconds now. Oh, oh. blinded. While blinded. But they, they, they have someone behind it. So even though Dupree gets this kill, they didn't really win the information entirely, and they know no one's on Cat in this spot. It's gonna set up Perfecto and Bit to just stay focused on the apartment. Oh, oh they works. start to scramble. It works. But they hear it. Bit gets that last second info. Apex, poor guy, deleted. Sphinx is gonna come out from the door, and he does trade this one back. So, pressure on Perfecto. Now it's all on Perfecto. He's getting squeezed. He delivers the first. Zywoo point blank with the trade frag back. Vitality. They find their entries. Sphinx is unreal. Whew. Sphinx is unreal. He kills a door player as well. What a pickup. Yeah. That was pure magic. Actually, the strat was pretty cool. I mean, they had Dupree come down. They made a little bit of utility go a long way. You know, that was Dupree flicking down. He was blind, but he kind of understood exactly what was coming in his direction off the audio. And then Sphinx hits that kill. That's so crazy. Ooh. This one as well. And I heard he's a great guy. Well, you know, that's worth something. Ooh, Apex. It's just the SMG. He knows he's got him stuck in the corner. Perfecto gets away, though. Could have combined with a nice little spray, but not quite. Nobody in the palace for Vitality. It's four middle now. And Apex wrapping back around spawn. Again. Money. Again. This time 10 seconds sooner. Still exactly what Navi are looking for. Magis tucked in. Three players to be sent up connector. That's going to preoccupy a bit for sure. If SDY can catch Apex here. Ooh, now he can set his eyes back on the bomb site. Bit calling the audio. They know they're out from Khan. Electronic cuts off Dupree first to push back through smoke. And from inside sight, Zywu with two. Oh. Magisk activates from window. Simple off of ticket. Down goes Zywu. And the stairs player two. Oh, man. He never had a break, dude. This guy is so crazy. That round went so well for Vitality up until that last moment. Feels like about 10 kills in two seconds. As Spinks finds his trade off of stairs, that was already insane. Stopping Bit from coming out, and then Simple puts together this clip. Ooh. Zywu gives him a sliver. Magisk has nowhere to run. God damn. It's going to happen sometimes. Sometimes a lot of times. There's a whole lot of talent in this server. And it's hard to shine as bright as Simple. Welcome back. 22 and 15, surpassing Perfecto. Navi two, one, two rounds away from the win. And look, they got Vitality to participate into another buy, which is two Deagles defending against match point. They're done with it. I was about to say, like, Vitality are actually starting to move nice, and they were using mid a lot, and they even made some of their low buys look pretty good. I clearly have been putting some effort into their Mirage, and I think, you know, especially with the Sphinx pickup, it makes sense. A map he loves, a map that you've been wanting to play. But then it gets shut down like this. Feels like they beat a lot of teams right now. But Navi showing they're from a different cloth, or just having a much better day. Whoa. Simple almost went back through the top of that. Oh, and because he didn't, his second attempt to retreat gets caught by Sphinx. They got something to offer here. Dupree onto the op. Sphinx and Zywu is still alive. SDY Pfft. stuffed. Wait, it's but then Bit kills Sphinx just behind him? Oh yeah, that's what that happened. That was weird. Perspective changing and so's momentum, vitality. They have managed to get themselves into the post plant. It's Electronic's chance to 1v3 from a similar spot as Simple's. But Zywu's already behind the default. Dupree's got this angle cut off and we've got vitality right in. We need to see what the hell just happened inside Khan. Was it... Was it bit on stairs? No, it wasn't. It, it was, was electronic. SDY on stairs. Oh, it was SDY? Okay. Yeah, something crazy happened there. I'm not exactly sure what it was. I'm going to need that top down. Yeah. Try that running back. 
Wow, doesn't get flustered by his teammate shooting him in the back of the head. Oh, we do have the top down. SDY stuffed. Bit gets the kill in uh, Sphinx. Sphinx. That was on from Cat. Cat. Yeah. So maybe Bit was in window? No, no, no. Sphinx was dies in Cat? connector from the Cat player, ah. which was Bit. All right. Wow, what a shift. That yeah. is, I mean, that is huge. That is a huge moment for Sphinx to pick up two kills top mid. I mean, I said momentum. I didn't realize this much. Yeah, true. Unarmored pistols here for Navi, a potential 13th to Vitality. Not potential, but highly likely. Yeah, I was checked out there for a second because... We got a 30-round game. ...of the Deagles, but yeah, in this situation, Vitality have won it back, and we look back on the 1v3 and think that was a good start to that round as well. So, you know, easy as ever. There is one gun here in a good spot to find action, but look how quickly Vitality have organized. They're already ready to hit the A site. They've got it primed and ready to go. Yeah, it looks like we could go all the way. Which creates for a very interesting situation. Now, if we fast forward a bit, I wonder what Navi are going to do. In light of the fact that there has been so much mid control out of Vitality. And to be fair, it's not like it's one tone. It's quite dynamic. They're doing it in a multitude of different... Uh, styles so that'll be hard for for navi to just like attack in one way and just say like this is the answer but um again something that they i think have put into for sure is that palace have been open a lot they can take control of that early instead of a ramp which is a place that sometimes vitality are killing the a ramp guy a little later on winning the round based on that kill and also they attempted to go underpass once dupree off the fast mid spawn without the smoke swung and kill electronic jumping in there but that's still an option. And I think outside of that, on an anti-eco, we had Bit jump out and play to catch someone at the bottom of Khan. And Ooh, wow, okay. This is, yeah, that was very expensive. That's a lot of guns won. Damn, I was just talking. No, that's fair. I mean, I I, I paid attention. I'm sorry, not that you weren't paying attention. Everything I wasn't. You said I, don't know, no one, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't everything, know what happened. Everything you said was very relevant, and it sets up the next round importantly. It's like, yeah, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking. <laughs> Man, I love the sound of my own voice. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. All good. Dupree trying to offer up those kills, but, uh, you know, not be making the most of those pistols. So, economically, any little bonus vitality we're hoping for is gone. Could... Oh, I, e. Spinks fire spreads to his feet and gets into the corner. He'll be all right. But yeah, that's just the lifeline that got kind of taken away from Vitality. Losing 15 now, they're in a tough spot. They would have had money. Spinks, ooh, the first casualty. Perfecto. He wouldn't have been alone there. In fact, Simple's ready for the next. Oh, wow, he hits that 80 damage into Apex. Yeah, that was right in the nuts. And that makes things different now. Looks like that Molly damage could have come into play as well. Perfecto getting away with half HP. No compensation back here for Vitality. Navi, they don't want to let him get comfortable. This is a position where they can get match points. There's still space here to work. Dupree doing his own thing. He's had impact in middle. And with the top con smoke, Electronic should be taken out of the equation. High likelihood for a good split. Oh, Perfecto through smoke. No chance whatsoever vitality cut down before they even see the finish line and instantly the last two players call this one quits damn there's nothing you can do about that man perfecto gets the first kill and the two to close it that's it it was a fine idea to go into the b site like they had smoke top con dupree to make sure to babysit connector to make sure that electronic doesn't get in there they know no one's inside of mid it'll be two players on b holding versus four and then the rotators will come in later, but it doesn't even get to that point. They don't get out the window. They get stuffed in the doorway. This Perfecto is the doorman, and that's it. They get bounced. He kicked it off as well. This kill supported by Simple behind him. Nice shot from Simple. Okay, let's see how, how far they can stretch this. So I was quietly climbed up to a 20 and 13 score line. He's on the off as well. This is for everything. For a spot in the Royal Arena. The sigh of relief that comes with dodging the showdown. 
Vitality will have one last chance tomorrow versus G2 if they cannot extend this series. Sphinx looks to do his best bid impression. Maybe we'll join in with this as Vitality have chosen to keep it simple. Staggered attack here on the A site. What? They only have one smoke. How is this going to work? I have no idea. Unless they dropped it for someone to f throw the full exec. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe they did. You can throw all the smokes from this position, but let's see. Yeah. No, that was the flash. Time will tell. But right now, they're just walking it up. Oh, that's massive frag grenade damage. Softens them up. You'd think now SDY's job's infinitely easier. Magisk seemingly with no other smoke grenades, so it is just that one. And Dupree's cut off as he tries to walk out into the site. The SMG still resides beneath the palace. The kings of this A site in Navi. And you can just feel the discomfort here. 20 seconds, bomb in the dirt, and it's done.